All right, so I wrote this untitled antinatalist poem on my fridge. Wanted to read it, unpack it a little bit for you. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. Life is a repulsive meat suit, milk shot through with blood. But I watched these monkeys sweat and worship ugly things. All for you, mother. Why show me to the screaming garden? It could not be love like you said. I ache to see death, a thousand honey-sweet summer dreams. No pounding of bitter time. I must go, but please recall the friends in music. Picture the sun-lighted days we lived together. So, yeah, I mean... Life is a repulsive meat suit, obviously, um, you know, trapped in the limited human body. Milk shot through with blood, what I intend that to mean is sort of related to becoming a vegan and realizing that, you know, these animal products are so tainted. But then that sort of being a metaphor for the larger taintedness of life as well, the larger uh, disgustingness and inhumanity of it all. But I watch these monkeys sweat and I worship ugly things. So, you know, um, we like to think of humans as these great things. But at the end of the day, we are, you know, just the super advanced hairless ape kind of things. Sweating, toiling for money and uh, social accolades. Um, Worshipping, I would consider to be ugly things. Religion, religion is very ugly in my opinion. Um, all for you, mother. So, of course, you know, here doing this whole thing because, you know, your parents wanted to have kids or they didn't take the necessary precautions, right? So, I'm going through this whole experience because they wanted me to go through it, not because I signed up, uh, not because I choose to continue to be here, um, but when you don't have any safe, humane exit, it's hard. Um, so why show me to the screaming garden? It could not be love like you said. So, you know, I guess screaming garden, um, I just mean like total shit show that is humanity. And, you know, they say like, oh, we have kids because we wanted to love them. Um, it's like, yeah, well, I don't consider it to be love when you bring someone to hell. Like, if we were in hell and you had children, that would not be love. And this place is pretty close to hell in my book. I ache to see death, a thousand honey-sweet summer dreams, no pounding of bitter time. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, uh, I guess I just would consider death to be the ultimate resolution, the ultimate hitting of the jackpot, the ultimate um, comfort and the the end um the end of all concerns i must go but please recall the friends in music picture the sunlighted days we lived together so um again i would like you know i guess this is written as if i had a humane ability to leave um but instead you know i'm pretty trapped uh but uh, i think it was a little cathartic for me to to write the i must go but please so, like, as if I was leaving. Um, but if I were to leave, I would want people to think of the good times and think of the positive things that we did together, the friends and music, the sunlighted days, you know, not be like, oh, tragic, um, but just, you know, not everything lasts forever. And sometimes people got to leave. And you got to just take it for what it was. So that's uh, all I got, and hope you enjoyed it. See ya.